hello and welcome to the third and the penultimate edition of our build up to the Coventry Business Excellence Awards. Now over the last few weeks we've been building up to the awards themselves, taking part at Birmingham's ICC, you'll get to see that in episode four. This time around though we're focusing on some different categories, it's the SME, the Entrepreneur of the Year and of course it's the big one, Company of the Year. We're at the Four Star Hotel Park Regis Birmingham where our finalists and their sponsors have gathered for a very special champagne and canapes evening. We'll be speaking to them later. A prelude to the actual event, this is their opportunity to mingle, network and sniff out the competition. Before all that though, let's catch up with our final three categories. To qualify in this category as SME, these businesses will have no more than 249 full-time members of staff and then impress the judges with their growth that's taken place over the last 12 months. We have decided to support this year award because we need to support the business community within our region. It's really important that, that, that recognition for great Birmingham based businesses is, uh, are, are, are appreciated by these awards because um, you know, all of those businesses are working so damn hard day to day um, and really sort of achieving great results and putting those businesses on a pedestal within the West Midlands but also nationwide. We're very much a tech business um, and, and being right at the uh, sort of cutting edge of innovation and technology is really important for us building a very, very efficient and effective uh, business. I think uh, SME businesses have a, uh, have a challenge of really getting the traction uh, and building awareness. Not only are they investing in the systems and processes and in increasing staff base within the business, but also uh, educating the customer base, going out to market, closing sales, etc. And um, so anything that helps promote and support the businesses and that brand awareness is really powerful. Um, the difficulty of most SMEs is that uh, they are competing against smaller businesses that themselves, also with bigger companies. The availability of finance and assistance and understanding of as a SME, your requirements and financing, it might be different to the bigger companies or smaller companies. It's to ensure that the people who provide the finance, they can understand, they can be more uh, considerate about you as a SME. We uh, have experienced year on year growth and more importantly, it's the diversification of our company that uh, we have continued growing and developing a traditional uh, line of business, but at the same time we've uh, managed to enter some new sectors, new areas that we are working on developing, more on commercial, residential and our levels. Uh, we work in a really crowded and competitive market and for our clients and our customers it's sometimes difficult to distinguish uh, as to who they should work with. So actually having a recognition like this with an award really helps enhance our reputation. I think the role that SME businesses play in the wider community is to ensure that we are uh, driving the local economy, employing local people. We're really proud of the, our, our apprentice program, bringing in new apprentices from the local community, skilling them up for future life. I think uh, SME, for SME businesses to grow, we need passion, we need talent, and we need flexibility. We need to be able to think on our feet to move uh, fast and quickly. Uh, luckily, we have that in spades here. Behind every business is an even greater entrepreneur driving the ship forwards. Next up, we speak to the finalists of Business Entrepreneur of the Year, each of whom have made positive impacts on the business they run. Working with this particular category is uh, very poignant to us. Uh, we work with two of the most, with the world's most iconic brands, uh, our values, and products provide a vision that tailors many entrepreneurs' dreams. We're excited to sponsor this category to see what visionary entrepreneurs of tomorrow have to offer. Entrepreneurs are, are, are extremely important to the business community. I think, you know, unless there's people out there uh, taking risks and looking beyond um, the norm and looking for the future, then, you know, I think without them entrepreneurs, then, you know, the world and the business sector would look totally different. First, uh, first career highlights was, was probably most companies is where you get your first employee and that is a, a real uh, switch on. 
further highlights then is obviously as we introduce new companies into, bu into the business, um, which were great career highlights. But I think overall, my uh, one thing that does drive me is to bring in on our, our future engineers and our future managers. So really working with our youngsters is uh, the thing that really is a career highlight and I'm lucky enough that that's happening every day. I believe that a successful entrepreneur is just somebody that looks beyond um, and looks beyond the risks that they have but also taking further risks. Um, but they are managed risks and accepting that a majority of those risks will normally turn out correctly but acknowledging also that some risks are failure and being able to manage that failure. So my role within REPL Group, officially I'm the Executive Chairman, which means I get to chair board meetings and make sure that we're executing against our strategy. The other thing that I do is I'm the Chief Disruption Officer. So I go round and disrupt everything that we do and make sure that we're looking at better ways of doing things, new ways of doing things and challenging our teams and our customers to do things better. So I'm lucky, I've been here since day one. I'm one of the original founders of REPL. So I've seen a lot of growth in the last 11 and a half years. So we've grown from being two people to 350 something people. We've now grown from being zero revenue to being 30 plus million pounds revenue this year. So we've seen quite a bit of growth. I think it averages out of 54% year on year growth. I think a successful entrepreneur is constantly looking for new openings and new opportunities within the market and trying to latch onto things before they become mainstream so they can actually grow their business into those areas. I established the business in 2008. Um, I used to work for another business and unfortunately they closed down during the economic downturn. I went for other interviews but all of the other recruitment businesses that I went to just screamed greed and poor ethics. Um, fortunately I was contacted by clients that I'd built really good sustainable relationships with and they wanted me to continue working for them. I take time out every month with each person in the team to do an appraisal or a review. Um, so I look at what training and development they might need and I try to act as more of a mentor and a leader to them as opposed to a manager. I think it's important that entrepreneurs are recognised with these type of awards um, because it certainly helps with confidence and loneliness. That might sound a little bit strange, but as a sole director of Taylor Herrick, um, it can be a lonely place when you're making decisions and thinking about strategy moving forwards. So to have a kind of external body recognising the work that you do certainly makes you feel more supported in, in the local community and gives you a bit of drive to move forwards. The other thing is it really helps morale within the team. Everyone loves a win and especially in a competitive market such as ours, um, it, it's great to be able to have that buzz in the office. We've saved the most anticipated award till last. The chosen three finalists of Company of the Year are perhaps the most nervous of all as this is the biggest award at stake. It comes with huge honour and to have it to one's name opens the doors to countless opportunities. I think it's really important to be recognised um, from an, an award scheme, uh, whether it's confidence with existing clients uh, in that business or promoting the business out to new clients and new prospects. I think in recent years we've really seen the business take off. Uh, its growth in the, in the type of clients that we have. Uh, our standing in the industry has been hugely successful and we're very much recognised as, as a leading player uh, in our sector. I think business is incredibly simple uh, and it's about two things. It's about cash, looking after the cash, cash is king, but then looking after the people. And if you look after the people and your people, then they will look after the customers, they'll look after the shareholders, they'll look after every element that runs the business. So I think why it's important for businesses to be recognised at awards is, is you put a bid in and no one's telling you that you're doing a, a good job or a bad job. Um, but what is really humbling is when you put a bid in, you talk about the company's journey and then a business is recognised. To maintain a competitive advantage, what we've always looked at is, is improving, learning. And the key thing is, is, is listening, listening to our customers. And I think a lot of recruitment consultants don't listen to their customers. And if you listen to your customers, provide a sensible solution, um, you know, they'll, they'll come back for more. I think to be shortlisted at this stage is a phenomenal achievement for us as a, as a young business. But if we were to, to win company of the year, um, it would just supercharge our growth. REPL stands for Remarkable People. 
and to be recognised at an event such as the Birmingham Business Awards really is testament and validation of all the work that our team do. Recognition at awards like these, both for nominees and winners, are tremendously powerful for businesses. Perhaps the single most powerful piece is around being able to attract new talent into your business. Growing businesses always need new talent to grow and to flourish. I think to get a business to perform at the highest level, you need to have an established culture of empowerment. Empowerment at all levels throughout the organisation, where people believe that what they do truly makes a difference to the business. Well, there you have it. All 14 categories and those three shortlisted finalists begin them as well. And of course, that will be hoping to take away those awards at the big grand final and next week at the ICC in Birmingham. It's a black tie event and we cannot wait. Uh, join me after the break. We'll be chatting to some of the sponsors who've been key in putting this event together. And of course, a bit more time with some of those finalists as well. Hello and welcome back to the stunning Park Breeders on Birmingham's iconic Cross. Here guests, which include finalists and event sponsors, have come together to enjoy a glass or two of bubbles and the chance to catch up with one another ahead of the final event. Let's get in amongst the action and see what's going on. We are in the midst of people mingling now. Uh, let's chat to some of these people. Now, um, you guys are shortlisted, but you're also sponsors as well. Tell us where you're from. We're from the ICC Birmingham. So this is where that prestigious final will be taking place. Um, what's it like being in a room surrounded by other people you're competing against, but also people that you're going to see at the, uh, the final as well? It's really exciting. I think it's really good to see that get to see everybody here, but know that they're all going to be in that venue on the night. All really excited, looking forward to seeing the wins. So are you feeling competitive? Is it you know you're kind of working your way around, scouting out some of that competition? Absolutely, of course we are. Um, but at the same time, we're just really proud to be a sponsor of this um, absolutely amazing event, but also that we um, are finalists as well, and just that we're, we're up against a great competition, um, made of best man, man win, as we say. So guys, very excited to be mingling with all yes. the people in those other categories. And um, what's it like to be here tonight? Well, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, lovely venue here in, in Birmingham. Uh, it's great to see uh, the businesses here, just relaxed talk to each other and just getting to find out a little bit more about each other. I think it's a, it's a great event and we're more than looking forward to the actual champion ceremony on uh, November the 7th. So how are you feeling going into that final? Are you feeling confident, feeling excited, mix of emotions? Yeah, it's exciting to see our nominees um, and hearing about all of their stories and how they've got their businesses to where they are, knowing the work that they put in and yeah, their passion for their businesses, to see it paying off. Uh, something like this, it's lovely to see, so it's exciting. Who are the guys that have to sort through the finalists and, and look through the competition? Um, can you tell us, is the competition looking good? Very, very good, I have to say, this year has been a really difficult year. I mean, each year goes by, we find so many different innovative businesses. And this year, it was so difficult because we had to look at them a few months in advance, shortlist it all down, but I can say, there are some really good acorns as well as some really, really strong businesses that have been in business for the last 10 or 15 years. So yeah, it's looking very good. It's all about kind of flying the flag for, for Birmingham with these awards. What are you looking for when it comes to the ideal winner in that category? Well, I think it's all about the people they employ, the types of businesses they are. In our category, which is innovation, there's got to be a little bit different because innovation is going to be the way that we in Birmingham are going to be different to the other cities and the other competitors outside the UK. So we're looking for vision. We're looking for something that's very unique. And in the next couple of years, we'll take them to higher heights and plateaus. So it is a bit of a you know, difficult process, but I have to say, all the ones I've seen are real winners. There isn't one I would not say is gonna go places. I have to say we've given you a bit of a challenge there. You have given us a challenge this year, but a very enjoyable challenge. And it's great to see so many entrepreneurial and invigorating businesses in Birmingham. It's quite an exciting night. You guys are like, you've been mingling, uh, chatting to a lot of people. What's it, what's it been like? It's been a fantastic evening. I mean, we obviously we met Barney and 
loosey before, but it's just a lovely opportunity to kind of get to know our category sponsors a little bit better and obviously meet some of the other finalists and suss out the competition. So. What's that really like? Is the competition quite stiff? Is it a hard category to come by? I, I'm sure it will be. Yeah, so uh, you know, there, there's a lot of great businesses in the area um, and uh, you know, we, we think we've got a great business, but there are plenty of great businesses out there. Some more finalists then, mingling, having some champagne. Now, what is it like to be part of an event like this? Are you excited to be here? We are, of course, very excited to be here. Uh, anything that's sort of rep in Birmingham, uh, we love to get involved in. So, yeah, it's, it's really great to be here. What do you love about being a Birmingham a business? What do you love about being local? Um, well, I love the city because I'm a brummy, um, but also there's a vast amount of opportunities out there at the moment, in particular within buildings that are happening um, around the city centre. Um, so it's really exciting to be a part of this because I feel Birmingham's got a lot of opportunity at the moment. Um, so it's great to be part of that. Very good time to be in Brum. Um, have you managed to chat to any of the competition, any of the people in your category? Is it stiff competition? Uh, it's a very stiff competition, yeah, I just kind of got put on the spot a little bit and the sponsor asked me to sort of justify why we should win. Um, so that was that was good fun. Uh, I think well, we'll, we'll see how the job I did. But yeah, yeah, it's very good. There's lots of lots of talent around here, so yeah. Good. You say the process has been like so far for you. Have you enjoyed the process? And what are you kind of hoping to, to, to gain, whatever way it goes? I, I think so, certainly. Um, we don't really apply for many awards because we're a, we're a small organisation, so classic can be a little difficult around there, but it's so great to be recognised for the work we have done in such a small team. So, I mean, to get to this stage alone is fantastic. To get anywhere beyond it really would be brilliant. I think for us it's just a case of getting to know all the other organisations around the room in the different sectors, the different works, see what we can do to support them and then support us. Are you feeling optimistic, would you say, for the, uh, for the final? Oh yeah, definitely. I know the work we do, it, you know, it has a really wide impact and we've been going for such a long time. It's about time we were recognised for the good work we do. So yeah, we're hopeful. We're, we're good positive. Choice. The clear choice. Well, good luck guys. We'll see you if you see that. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you. Be part of this awards event, but they'll also get to see themselves in the Metro, which is quite a big deal for, for some of the smaller businesses, certainly. Yeah, I was actually talking to um, one of the shortlisted earlier and he said his business has been going for six, seven years, I think he said, and he's always read the Metro. He said, and if you'd have said to him then when he set up that one day he would see his business in the Metro, he just wouldn't have believed it. That's great for us to hear as well, to know that we, we can bring that to people. And you think that makes a real difference, I guess, to, to businesses all, around, all over the place? Yeah, I mean, I've been talking to people since since the last ones that we did, since the Poppetry ones. Um, and I've been out to see a few of the winners and they've all said what great coverage it was and, and how they really enjoyed um, and how people said that they'd seen them in it and stuff like that. So yeah, really, really good. Well, yeah. great success stories. Yeah, and that's what we all want, isn't it? Success stories in our own cities. Is, is That's what we're all about at Metro anyway. So, so yeah, it's really good. Good to see so much networking taking place. Good to see behind me, it continues as well. And great to catch up with some of the sponsors as well who are in the putting an event like this on. Let's not forget though as well uh, that it is a massive achievement to even be the shortest as part of these events. So let's spend just a few minutes reminding ourselves what each of the categories represent in the region. Working with Family presents its own unique challenges. The Family Business of the Year Award commends businesses who don't just keep it in the family but instead see their employees as such too. Retail and hospitality is a tough nut to crack. It's undoubtedly one of the most competitive industries to work in. Those shortlisted in this category will be striding ahead of their competition and be committed to offering the best products or services for their customers. A happy workforce can only ever be a positive for morale and motivation. Those selected for this award are seeing this firsthand thanks to the employee-focused schemes they have in place, from social gatherings to mental health awareness. Many businesses view it as their responsibility to positively impact the communities in which they work, something the finalists in the Contribution to the Community Award live by. This category praises those selfless organisations that give something back. Starting a business takes determination, grit and a real passion for something in order to succeed. The new Business of the Year Award champions these characteristics and more for the finalists on their way to great things. Nothing is harder than getting your business heard in a world where everyone is trying to do the same. Sales and marketing are two areas that, when done well, aid a business's end results and this category rewards those that have done it with a little bit of creative thinking too. 
Customer service excellence applauds exactly that. Those businesses among us that always go that extra mile to give us what customers need or want. From introducing new technologies and making processes more efficient to surpassing industry standards, the Excellence in Industry Awards covers those that are making big moves in their area. Sustainability is a buzzword at the moment, with more people and businesses across the globe making a conscious effort to reduce their carbon footprint. The finalists within the Sustainability Award are really making a difference as a result. Professional services is all about praising the businesses who aid us with the things that we need to have strong lives and careers, including financial services and personal development businesses. SMEs are integral to the local economy and the category, in their honour, has three finalists who all have a strong number of employees working on and committed to developing the business and improving its overall growth. All entrepreneurs start with a good idea and have the confidence and skills to see it through to a genuine business venture. The three individuals nominated within the Entrepreneur of the Year Award are high flyers reaping the rewards of their hard work. Finally, Company of the Year is the pinnacle of what Birmingham is all about. It features long-standing businesses who've made a home of the region. It represents an inspiring workforce dedicated to the business's success. And it acknowledges significant achievements that have been made not only in 12 months, but over the course of many years. And there we have it, that concludes our third programme. I don't know about you, but I've thoroughly enjoyed catching up with all those finalists and the sponsors too as well. And now though, we turn our attention to the big one. Next week then, we head to the ICC, Birmingham's premier event venue. There'll be lots of champagne, lots of brilliant food, lots of fantastic entertainment, and of course, those all important awards. It promises to be a night of all nights, so don't miss it. We'll see you next week.